Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on binomial expansion coefficient problem. Here is the exam question. f of x is equal a half minus x in bracket to the power minus 3. Modulus of x is less than 1 over 2. Part A, expand f of x up and including the term in x cubed. Please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So we've got f of x equal a half minus x in bracket to the power minus 3. I can rewrite this as square bracket, take out a factor of a half. So inside the bracket I've got 1 minus 2x in bracket, square bracket, power minus 3. I must take out a factor before applying the binomial expansion formula. Right, so I take a half and I raise it to the power minus 3. And I take the bracket raise it to the power minus 3. Okay, a half to the power minus 3 is just 8, so I've got 8 lots of 1 minus 2x to the power minus 3. Since I've got a 1 inside this bracket, I can now expand it using the binomial expansion formula. So I'm going to carry out the expansion. I've got 8, open square bracket. So in the binomial expansion formula, I'm going to replace the x with minus 2x, and I'm going to replace the n with minus 3. So I've got 1 plus nx, so minus 3 times minus 2x, plus n, which is minus 3, n minus 1, so minus 3 minus 1, over 2 factorial, minus 2x to the power 2, plus minus 3, minus 3 minus 1, minus 3 minus 2, over 3 factorial, minus 2x, to the power 3, okay? Plus dot 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 close square bracket. Now I'm going to simplify what I've got inside the square bracket. So I've got 8 lots of 1 plus 6x plus 24x squared plus 80x cubed plus dot dot dot. Expand out with the 8. So my final set of answers will just be 8 plus 48x plus 192x squared plus 640x cubed plus dot dot dot. That there is the end of part A. Let's move on to the next part of the exam question. G of x is defined by a plus bx over a half minus x in bracket to the power 3. The coefficient of x squared and x cubed in the expansion of g of x are 42 and 136 respectively. Part B, show that a is equal to 1 over 4 and find the value of b. Please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Okay, so in part B, we're trying to expand g of x. Now I can rewrite g of x as a plus bx in bracket multiplied by a half minus x in bracket to the power minus 3. If I bring up this bracket, the power becomes negative. Right, I'm going to be using my answer to part a. This in turn is a plus bx in bracket multiplied by the expansion of a half minus x to the power minus 3 is this one over here. So I've got 8 plus 48x plus 192x squared plus 640x cubed plus dot dot dot. Right, I know that the coefficient of x squared is 42, so I'm going to expand out the x squared terms. Right, so I can easily <coughs> take a and multiply it by 192x squared. So that will give me 192ax squared. That's my first x squared term. Then I can take bx and multiply it by 48x. That will give me plus 48bx squared. Right, so these are my x squared terms. If I add them together, that there should equal 42, 42x squared. I can divide the entire equation by x squared, so the x squares will cancel out, leading on to the equation 
192a plus 48b equal 42. Okay, so we can call this equation 1. Right, now I know that the coefficient of x cubed is 136. So I'm going to expand out the x cubed terms. Right, so firstly I can take a and multiply it by 640x cubed. So I've got 640ax cubed plus I can take bx and multiply it by 192x squared. This gives me 192bx cubed. So that there must equal 136x cubed. I can divide the entire equation by x cubed, so the x cubed will cancel out, leading on to my second equation, which is 640a plus 192b equal 136. Equation 2. So I solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously, and I should get a equal 1 over 4. I take a equal 1 over 4 and I substitute it back into either equation 1 or 2 to work out b. So if I do this, I get b equal minus 1 over 8. And that there completes part b of the exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question, binomial expansion, coefficient problem. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.